Well, it's 618 and time now for What's Trending. Well, if someone is going to sneak into your bridal photo, this might be the guy you want. Actor Tom Hanks gave a Pennsylvania bride the ultimate surprise. Wedding photographer Rachel Rowland says the bride was about to hop into a limo when nice guy Tom Hanks walked up and asked to take a photo with her. He posed for a few shots and congratulated everyone. And then, just like Forrest Gump, he ran out of there. Hanks is in Pittsburgh shooting a movie called A Man Called Otto. He plays a retiree who becomes friends with his neighbors. And what a cool guy right there. Like Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors. I loved him mm -hmm. in, um, uh, obviously we know him in Forrest Gump yes. and um, Castaway or two yes, of his more great popular movies. ones. I liked him in Captain Phillips. I don't Ooh. know if you saw that one. Yep, but, I um, did. That was a really good one. But look, what a cool thing to, in a memory, Granted, she's getting married, so that's one mm. of her memories, but <laughs> to have her bridal photo with right. Tom Hanks as well. What a cool That's thing. amazing. Yeah, he's such a great actor. I know he's getting older, but hopefully he just stops aging and just continues to yeah. produce more movies because he's such a great actor. It's like I a love Clint just Eastwood. watching his movies. Exactly. Yeah, he's I love another one, like Endless <laughs> Wonder, that like, keeps producing pretty good movies as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But our next story here uh, talks about one of Andy Warhol's iconic Marin Monroe, Monroe portraits could draw a record auction price for 20th century artwork. So auctioneer Christie's is expecting bids of around $200 million. The current auction record for a 20th century painting is a Pablo Picasso painting that went for $179.4 million in 2015. So Warhol's 40 square inch shot gauge bloom Marilyn will go on sale in New York in May. It's one of dozens of images the artist made of Monroe in the 1960s. Christie's described this one as one of the rarest and most transcendent images in existence. So it's been shown at galleries including the Guggenheim Museum in New York, the Century Pompeii in Paris, and London's Tate Modern. So pretty hard words to say out there, yeah. but really cool paintings out there. Look at that, you know, $200 million. Expected, oh, wow. man, $200 million. I can't really believe that at all. That's but, insane. Man, oh, insane my Lord. Price. It's like, I'm, I'm not one, a big person on art. I think if you go into my place, I may have like a couple things hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, I had a few more like sports memorabilia things in my room back in uh, Michigan, mm -hmm. but I don't have, I didn't bring that out to Wisconsin with me, but $200 million. I can't imagine spending that much. I'm guessing artwork. you don't have that painting in your room, right? I don't have that. No, nope, I don't <laughs> that would have that be painting insane. in my room. <laughs> yes, but it's still crazy to think about spending all of that money. Oh my, it. $200 million. Yeah. Whew, that is insane. So another crazy story. A tornado took a truck on a wild ride in Elgin, Texas on Monday. You can see the twister hitting a red truck as it crosses the road. The vehicle is blown over onto its side, spun around, and then blown back right side up. A few seconds later, the driver drives away. In the, in the city of Elgin, at least three people have been injured and dozens of homes and businesses have been destroyed. But wow, what a... What a crazy video, and I'm just, I'm assuming that he's okay after everything because he drove away from it, but I couldn't imagine being a part of that. Could you? Yes, yeah, I mean, it's, it's March, it's springtime, tornadoes are gonna start popping up out there, but yeah, very dangerous mm -hmm. tornadoes out there in Texas. I actually have a couple buddies, I had to okay. text them and warn them, hey, be careful because there's tornado warnings yeah. pretty much everywhere all across the state, so it's getting pretty dangerous out there.